What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Goldmouth, and I am coming to y'all today to show y'all how I'm going to detangle my hair. Now, if y'all been following me, y'all, um, last night I took my braids out, finally, thank God. Supposed to be going to get my hair braided again, but, y'all, we'll talk about that in a story time tomorrow, y'all. So, um... Right now, I am going to detangle my hair and show y'all guys what it, what, is, what I'm working with. Because this is like the most dreaded process of the, the whole hair thing. Doing your hair is like detangling is like the most worst. The most worst, yeah, thing you can do to your hair. That's me. I mean, it's worse than getting a haircut. So, chat, I got these clips over here. Like right here, these kind of clips. I got these from the hair store. And I also got these. But we're going to use these at a later date. Y'all see what them is? Them little ponytail things for babies. Little kids, babies, or whatever. And um, and I got my uh, Hercules brush. That's what it looked like. A big old wide tooth comb. Why I say Hercules brush? It's a Hercules comb, Chad. And I got me a regular brush. Don't know if I'm going to use that, but probably will because we going to see. And, um... And I have on my uh, bonnet, you guys, made by me. Custom made bonnet. Well, I don't, it's not custom, but yeah, it's made by me. Satin line bonnet. It's satin underneath. Black satin, and it is reversible. Reversible. Let me turn around so y'all can see the other side. And it holds all of my hair. This is a large size bonnet. Um, so, um, just letting you guys know that I do sell these bunnies. Um, my website will always be linked in the, um, description box below. And if you feel free, if you feel like you want to support, please go ahead and support my cause. Um, I sell these bunnies to help with my medical bills for my, um, cancer journey. Okay. And this bunny is reversible. It looks like this on the back. And it's reversible. What I said it's reversible, and you can flip it around. Okay, all right, y'all. So, anyways, y'all, website below, y'all. Click it, click it. Go shop with me. Support a sister. Okay. So this is what my hair look like, y'all. And it looks pretty nice, but I gotta take it all. I gotta detangle this stuff, y'all. Um. So how I managed to get through this detangling process is patience okay the number one thing you want to have when you're getting ready to detangle your hair is patience if you don't have patience to detangle your hair then guess what don't detangle your hair cause you're gonna run into a whole lot a lot of problems okay so first and foremost i want to go ahead and part my hair in a in a part down the middle with my fingers we're gonna do it with the fingers first okay y'all because this detangling process could be real crucial where well, it is a real crucial part in your hair growth journey especially your hair growth journey if you want to see your if you want length retention you're gonna to have to be very careful with how you detangling your hair especially to all my virgin hair fertilizer users out there y'all y'all need to listen to this part be very careful how you detangling your hair because your growth process can this can hinder hinder you seeing your growth because you could possibly um, break off the the growth that you receive, not the growth, but the the inches from the growth. When you grow down here, you know what I'm trying to say, I don't know, but you can possibly damage your hair at the end, so you won't never see your growth because your hair is very fragile at the end. You possibly can break it off by not detangling with patience, okay, and in a good way. So I'm gonna put my hair in four sections. <laughs> two sections here already so i'm just gonna section that section off and we're just gonna section the sections off okay until we get enough sections so i section that one off first oh come on now um and then i got a section over here left so what i'm gonna do with that section is put that section into two sections okay y'all with me i'm gonna put that back here now that's two sections now what you want to do with these two sections is section these off. Now I got two sections over here and one section over here. Now I take this one section and I try to even this part up with the um the section over here and have two sections. That's even four section that's even i'll try my best to you see what i'm talking about so i make four sections so pretty much you just making four sections in your hair 
four sections and um got that one and did this section off in the back. I don't like that black clip for some reason. I guess because it's blending with my black hair. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna make that section like right here. Okay, so I got two four sections okay got it all right now what you're gonna do is split those four sections into a section each section gonna go into two sections then so total you're gonna have eight sections okay y'all know what the deal is <laughs> okay y'all this is what my hair look like when it's all sectioned off lord <laughs> I look like a fool. okay all sectioned off and eight sections okay so I'm going to just take one section at a time and detangle it. Real simple, right? Yeah, that's what it seemed like, but spread a little bit. Ooh. Massage it in there and see if I can run my fingers through it first. Oh Jesus, I can't. I ain't got time. I'm gonna brush it with the brush. Gonna brush it with the brush first. I think this, this is something new I'm trying because usually I don't brush it with the brush first. I usually don't. But, um, let me see if this will help. Because y'all, I don't think I will even see me use a brush for real because I don't brush my hair like that. I usually just use my comb, but I was in the hair store the other day and I bought, I had bought one brush and then I bought, I bought two brushes. But, um, this one had got open because it's other people in my house like Pooby who open stuff and uh, open my brush. So this is one of the brushes and this is another one of the brushes. One is hard. This is a soft brush and this is a hard brush. I should have I should have used a hard brush on this, but now nah, I got enough troubles in my way with this hair. So oh, that brush actually made it a little bit easier, y'all. I could actually. I can actually go through it now. Okay. Let me see if I put my fingers through it. Oh, that brush was playing with me. Oh, okay. It's easier to it's easier to detangle my hair with a brush. I mean, at least the, the start of it. And it's a soft brush at that. I'm going to um remember I showed y'all that build up yesterday, last night or whatever in my hair. I'm gonna spray that. Okay, and I'm gonna just massage that in. I maybe gonna have to sit for a minute and then I come back to it later. But I'm gonna massage it in. You know, I can go out. To, I can feel it. I can feel it loosening up already. And I'm just gonna brush it. I'm gonna come back to this front though too. Because that part ain't like all the way detangled. I hope I ain't pulling out no hair. I mean I'm gonna have some shedding. But okay, now I'm going to See if I can get this comb through it here. Okay. Oh, that brush made my life a little bit easier, y'all. A little bit easier. Um, now, if I could take a small two comb through it, I don't know. But I don't generally, hardly ever, never do I ever take small combs through my hair. Because that's just a no-no with my hair. That ain't nothing but a disaster waiting to happen if I take a small comb through my hair y'all like no nah, that would be real stupid of me so i'm just i got some like pieces right here that's from the the got to be glue um gel work that i be using this gel right here is what i be using on my edges and also this even with the purple top i use that a lot on my edges throughout these like what three and a half weeks so um i'm going to just like brush this S curl spray into my hair right here again that way I won't lose that you can see it's a little piece right there I think that's a little piece child that might be some gray hair I'm gonna brush it in now I'm gonna brush it all up in now now so it's kind of like massaging it that and y'all can see that those clumps that was there they gone now see that they gone and no they're not in the brush they just the the gel came out my hair, so I'm going to de I'm going to um detangle every section of my hair like that, y'all, until I get all of my hair sectioned off. Well, till I get all of my hair detangled, I'm gonna twist that back up so that section is done, and I'm gonna do the rest to the each section of my hair. Okay, okay, so that one done. We're gonna do this other 
one in the front. Since the front is probably going to be, I don't know, it's probably be the easiest. I'm going to spray these edges. Okay. Rub that. That's S, this S curl spray. Did I say that? Mm. And then rub that in there. Massage it in. Now get that in there. I'm just going to take my brush and brush it in. This is a soft brush like I said. And try to brush those edges to get um all that gel and build up out of my edges y'all. I can feel like like when I put when I rewet my edges I can feel it like kind of jellish right there. You know how when you have old gel on your edges or on your hair and then you um re-wet it you wet it it turns it kind of like back in the gel it activates the gel so that's what my hair is kind of feeling like um on my edges it can activate the gel all it want to as long as it don't snatch out my edges y'all girl come through edges come through edges because those edges was thin out from the chemo and the radiation i had went through y'all it was my edges had took a toll on me too and i didn't even know that i thought i had edges good edges until i look back at my like before and after pictures um with my hair um started breaking off a whole lot so well my edges was like they had they had went missing too y'all they went missing so i'm just gonna brush this hair here first and y'all I, I told y'all i get paranoid with my hair when i see any kind of breakage on my hair that i think is excess because you know from the devastation of going through chemotherapy and my hair coming out in clumps it was just kind of like whoo so any little bit of hair that come out now i'd be like oh lord please uh you know just that chemotherapy will put the fear in you boy so i got a little shedding from both of those sections right there if y'all could see that little bit that's not nothing that's not nothing but some regular shedding and i'm gonna spray my edges again massage that through yeah i'm wearing my glasses all up so y'all already know i can't see y'all right now <laughs> and i'm gonna brush that through again so that way i'm gonna let it marinate on my edges y'all and i'm gonna do the same thing to each section of my hair girl okay and um each little section just like that and i'm with this comb right here i don't necessarily got to start at the end and work my way up to the top and all of that stuff i mean i do if i if i feel that it's needed if i can't put this comb through there and drag it out like say for instance if i put this comb through and i get stuck i'm not just gonna keep going i'm gonna come out then i'm gonna come back i'm gonna feel that it's necessary to come through the end because my hair is not that um it's not that tangly because I am relaxed. If you guys don't know, I am text lax. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, so my hair can detangle a lot of a lot easier than if I was natural. So I am going to do the rest of these sections, and I will be back when it's all detangled. Okay, okay, and just like magic, my hair is detangled. I detangled. I went through and detangled every little section of my hair. And as you guys can see, I can like easily run my fingers through it and everything and whatnot and so forth. I ain't gonna take it loose, y'all, because I got to go back through my hair and braid it uh, in my sections so I can go ahead and wash it. So I will show that to y'all in the next video. Just trust and believe. Trust and believe it is detangled all the way through. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, 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 that's tight. And I'm gonna show y'all the back, y'all. Show y'all. I don't know if it's looking different to y'all because it's up now, because it's still pent up. But um, just showing you this piece, like you can see me taking my fingers through it right here. That's showing you that it's detangled. And I did the same thing to each piece. But I'm gonna keep my sections in there because I need to go through and braid down each section. So that's the next step is to braid down each section. And I'm not gonna come back. I'm not gonna show you guys the braiding step. Just braid each section. I'm just gonna braid each section down. Then I'm gonna come back to y'all with the wash day video and in the next video. So stay tuned to my channel. And if you're back there crying. Oh yeah, y'all. I forgot to show you guys how much breakage I got from that whole detangling process. And this is how much breakage that I got from detangling my hair which is the average amount of breakage nothing extra you know nothing that was like 
scary. And I got some breakage yesterday when I took my hair down. I didn't keep all the hair, but this is from, I think I kept all the hair. This is from yesterday. These two little pieces. This from yesterday. Golly, come on, hair. This from yesterday. Just taking it loose. And this is from today. Because y'all can see. That's how much hair I lost in the process of taking my hair. Child, y'all see that? Okay. And, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.